Welcome back. Um, I'm still at the moisturising stage on these rather lovely uh, lizard skins. Um, it's been about two weeks since I um, made the first moisturising film. Um, they've been moisturised daily and they've, they've been had a quick rub, a quick buff. I'll just do that now. Um, it's a, just a clean old brush. So this was moisturised yesterday, about 24 hours ago. So just give it a quick, quick buff just to re remove any, any surface residue and give it a bit of a sheen and try and prepare it for the next, uh, I shall know. You, you can use a cloth, but I'm not going to. The, um, at this particular stage we're at, in the layering and layering day after day, just a quick rub with the brush is fine. And I've also been doing the soles. Now, it's very, very time consuming process on an old skin that's as dry as this. Um, most exotics dry out. This is, this is lizard skin. It's iguana lizard, um, but teju lizard, um, they have, um, it's got round scales, iguana. Teju lizards have sort of square scales. So they're a similar sort of size, only a few millimetres, but they're more square or oblong. That's teju. Iguana. Uh, is, is round and it's the belly it's not the back of the uh the 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 the, the beast it's um that's all lumpy this is belly but get back to what's important um don't be fooled that this is not taking time i'm wearing in these series of videos i'm wearing the same scruffy old clothes red trousers and an old john smedley i've actually got loads of these and they're all um they all appear to be the same the jacket's the same but i've been making this series for about three weeks now but my clothing appears to be the same so don't be fooled and think oh we did that all in one day i definitely didn't it takes a lot of time um i'm, I'm actually um, i'm in a in an old hair salon i own and um, we're under lockdown from covid and um I'm, I'm, I'm working hard, grafting like mad, trying to fix the build, and that's why I'm wearing these scruffy uh, clothes. But uh, forget about that. Um, the shoes are what's important today. Um, I really just wanted to sort of give you a sense of how long it can take to, to revive an exotic skin. Um, any skin, in fact, um, will, t will take time. But exotics can be deceptive. You give that a quick, a quick buff, and it looks quite presentable. And you think, wow, that's definitely ready to go. But the truth is that behind the scales are still rather dehydrated. Let's just pull out the uh, tree and I need to have another feel inside. The, the insides are dehydrated. And yeah, that feels an awful lot better actually. Yeah, I think I've done that three or four times. And uh, let's just give it a bit, of a bit of a rub. See if anything comes off on the cloth. I've, I've, um, I've uh, coloured it conditioned it with a um, with a coloured cream. The, um, the, the, the colour had sort of faded and I want to revive the colour as well as the condition. I could have easily obviously used a, a neutral um, but I wanted to, I really wanted to sort of get the cream to draw in and draw the colour in. If I moisturise it with a, with a neutral, it would draw in the neutral, saturate the skin with neutral, then if I tried to revive the colour with the um, uh, with the coloured cream afterwards, the colour would rather sit on the, so on, on the surface and it would be if very light to rub off on your socks. So let's just um, give it a bit of a buff. There's bound to be a little bit of colour will come off, but not a, not a huge amount. And this has never been buffed. I've just, um, I just kept applying and applying three or four times. But um, a dry skin will absorb deeply. Um, a skin that's well moisturised, that's well nourished, it won't. On, on, on shoes that are fairly new or well moisturised, it's probably not the ideal solution to be using a coloured cream on the inside. That won't absorb deeply, it will sit on the surface and it perhaps will rub off on your socks. Use a neutral if you're concerned, but moisturiser is moisturiser, they both do the same job. But yeah, that's, um, I'm not going to moisturise these inside anymore, they're enough, that's enough. I'll just, um, you know, I'll, 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 I'll buff it and rub it down. Um, it'll take maybe 15, 20 minutes to really get into every gap and it'll have a lovely luster, but um, I'll keep buffing until nothing else comes off on the cloth and then nothing will rub onto the socks. The other one is, um, if these shoes were in better condition, if I was purely doing maintenance and not trying to revive the skin, um, I might have, if it already looked lovely, but I would just put in a bit of moisture in it just as preventative, you know, rather like cleaning your teeth. You don't wait for your teeth to rot before you clean them, you clean them every day. Um, you know, if they're already in good condition, you just clean them and uh, that's that. Um, so very, you, can, you can get away with using a neutral cream. Um, you're not looking to revive the colour, you just want in condition to go in and remain supple. But these were very old, they were, had a bit of polish on, I, the, the colour was faded. And um, I really wanted to, um, 
I really wanted to revive the colour at the same time. I didn't want to be dyeing them. I could have conditioned skin with a neutral and it would have really drawn and drawn deeply the neutral colourless cream. But it wouldn't have done anything for the colour. It, um, you know, if I'd have tried to condition them and draw and saturate with a neutral, then try and rely on putting the, the coloured cream onto, on, you know, to try and revive the colour, the, the, the cream wouldn't go very deeply. It would sort of sit on the surface. So that's why I'm deliberately using a, a dark. It's black. It could be any colour. It could be brown. It could be tan. It could be whatever the shoe happened to be. These, these come in all different shades, but it's basically a similar product. So that's really why I'm using a, a coloured cream. So it draws very deeply right down into the skin, draw the pigment in. Um, there's no pigment to be drawn in that. And um, that will saturate the skin and any pigment would then only sit on the surface. And quite frankly, you could probably rub it off whilst buffing. So um, let's have a look. They, they are starting to take shape, but they're still, they're still drawing, um, they're still drawing moisturiser. It um, takes a huge amount and it can take days or weeks or even a month or more. It takes as long as it takes. And um, don't, don't be tempted to risk wearing the shoes just because they look presentable. You think that looks lovely, I'll get away with that. The chances are it will crack if, 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 if they're worn before the skin's fully saturated. So I'm just gonna go yet again. This is probably how many times, 10, 15 times at least, I've applied this cream. I'm just gonna do a little bit more. You've seen me do this. I'm not going to go mad, you know, as, oh, oh, that's a bit much. I'm just going to do a little bit on camera whilst we're talking, but you've seen me do this before if you've watched the previous videos. So eventually this cream will simply stop being absorbed and that will probably happen in the next week or so now. It's getting close. Um, it's, it's absorbing cream rather more slowly than it did before. But um, I give a, a nice liberal application then it's very important on exotics, as I've explained in the previous videos, why you need to use, use the brush. You've got to really stir it in. And that's, I can feel the way it's absorbing. The brush is kind of sticky on the surface, but it's remaining stickier for slightly longer. Um, when the skin was far more dehydrated a few days ago, the stickiness was disappearing very quickly, but that's taken a little longer. So. I know the, the, the absorption's slowing down now, but it's still, it's still absorbing. And I'll keep doing this until when I buff, not, I'm not buffing, I beg your pardon, when I sort of agitate the cream into all the, it, it, the cream's really absorbed mostly between the scales, not into the scale itself. Most of the cream goes around, so you have to agitate and stir it in. Um, eventually, it's getting close. This brush is slightly sticky and I'd expect it to be there we go, actually it's starting to get freer now. You can feel, the, if there's residue on the surface, the brush is kind of sticky. When the residue is completely gone, it slips. It more, feels more like ice, it's very slippy. Um, so yeah, that was slightly slow to absorb. So that's got maybe a day or two more, just to, just to keep, keep, keep on with this process. Um, but really, I just wanted to sort of give you an update. There's nothing really much to see. The last two or three videos have looked rather the same. But um, I can't stress how long the preparation takes on exotic, exotic skins. It really can take a while, even though they look presentable. It's more about the feel, as you feel the cream absorbing. If it's absorbing, the skin's still dehydrated and dry. If you get the sticky residue and it will not sort of buff away and it won't, it won't sort of rub in, you know the, the skin's fully saturated and it'll be safe to wear it. Um, so it's, it's a patient process. You've got to be patient. If, you, if you're not the patient type, I would probably advise you not to buy old vintage exotic skins. They really do take a lot of preparation. Once the preparation has been done, this, I've had these a few weeks, and once this has been done, um, a, a simple, just every so often, maybe every few months, just a very quick, just a very quick uh, light with the, with the correct color. You could possibly, once the, once the color's correct, the moisture's correct, you could then revert to using a neutral cream. And uh, that would be absolutely fine, so long as the colour's correct, the neutral will work over the top of that. Because the pigment that's deep isn't going to wash away, it isn't going to rub off. Any pigment that's on the surface might, but that won't be a problem. Now, um, the other thing I must sort of uh, advise against using mink oil on, um, on any exotic, 
um, whether it be lizard, um, alligator, crocodile. Um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of advice is mistakenly given. Um, when people get, for instance, a shoe like this, this was from about 1960, it's very, very dry. I had people pepper me with messages when I showed them off. Use mink oil, use mink oil. It's completely the wrong thing to do. And um, uh, various people, that maybe people that work in cobbler shops, offer the advice the use of mink oil. Mink oil is a fantastic product for waterproofing. Um, it's good on hiking boots and sort of heavy duty footwear, like hiking boots and maybe work boots, that type of thing. But it, it leaves a flat, slightly greasy and it, it can definitely darken the color of exotics. Obviously these are already black, so it'd be difficult to darken that, but it would lose, it would, st um, on a, on a, if it were a lighter colour, let's say a mid-browns, mid-tans, alligator, crocodile type of typical colours, it would almost definitely darken that by at least a shade. And it would have a, a flatter surface. It would appear less, to have less of a sheen, less luster. And once it's on, it's very difficult to, to get it out. It's the wrong thing to use. And it would be very similar on these. Obviously, because they're black, they wouldn't really go any darker. But they'd, they'd have a flatness about them. They wouldn't have that slight... Actually, this doesn't really shine because I've just, I've just moisturised it, but you can see even through a dampened moisturiser, it's still got a slight shimmer. That slight shimmer, if I risk putting mink oil on, would be lost. Now, some of these, um, the, this is a, um, a moisturising cream. It's an intense moisturising cream, and that does contain mink oil. It is an emulsion. It's not pure mink oil like a liquid. Um, it's, it's an emulsion. It's possible by using the emulsion, I'd get away with that. Um, the, the, um, it's, I don't know, I'm just not prepared to risk it on my shoes. I might get away with it. But if it were pure mink oil in a pot that's kind of uh, either watery or sort of semi-clear semi or translucent, um, don't use it. Um, it's possible, this, I'll show you this, it's like a white milk inside. That's an emulsion. It's very much like... Um, when I say emulsion, it's very much like if you get a little bit of, say, green washing up liquid and you put that on an oily, greasy plate and stir it around. The green, um, the green liquid starts to lift in the oils and the oils are uh, uh, absorbed, not absorbed, the oils are broken down, the molecules are broken down and it's lifted and as you stir it around, the green then goes like a cream. Um, it, it, it loses its green intensity as it lifts in the oil and that will then rinse away from your plates. And it's very similar with, with, with cream products. Um, this is an emulsion that contains mink oil. It, it, I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm just not prepared to risk it on my shoes, that's all. That is an emulsion. There's a good chance I'd get away with it. If it were just the pure oil, definitely, 100% no, do not use it. Purely for safety's sake, I know that I can get away with these, um, so I'm just not using it. Um, I've got the choice to use it, I'm just not. I don't want to risk it, but um, be very, very aware and just do a little bit of research and be, be very cautious of putting you know, various products on your exotics. You can spoil them, but I'm not going to waffle on too much. I'm starting to waffle now, so I'm going to cut this and... Um, I don't want to sort of confuse you with uh, going over the same point, but I really want to show you that I'm still not finished and um, they're, st they're still coming. And I'm, I do, I'm looking forward to trying these on. Do you know, I've not even put this shoe on my foot yet. I have no idea if it fits. I think it'll be close. And with various um, different sort of cork and leather linings, like uh, sole linings, insoles is the word I'm scratching around looking for, I'll be able to make a respectable fit. But I've not even tried them on. I don't put shoes on when they're old, before they've been moisturised, and certainly when they're dirty and not sanitised. So... Anyway, let me stop here and um, we'll come back in a, in a few days and uh, do look forward to presenting these shoes finished.